Hello guys, DJ Aaron here. Today I am going to do kind of a preparing vlog for a DJ gig. Now if you guys are wondering why I have this thing right here, these can all these can be used for anything that you want to use them for. Um, pretty much you can use them for putting your DJ gear in, which pretty much works. Okay, this guy, I believe this is, oops, I believe this is how this guy works. All right, so we can use these type of crates for putting your gear in, cables, etc. And uh, it just saves a whole bunch of time. You don't have to worry about getting a whole bunch of uh, different things. They're, they're containers, so to speak. They're, they're crate containers. So um, <clears throat> they're made out of heavy duty plastic. They can take the abuse. They could uh, pretty much, you know do exactly what <laughs> these can actually do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting stuff in here but what I like to do is I like to put stuff in here uh, power adapters power taps etc you know just kind of organize it where uh, Anywhere I can. Let me uh, let me roll up this cable, and I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so I rolled up this cable. I'm gonna put that in there. Well, it isn't gonna stay like that because I don't have any twisty ties or anything. Um, we have the wireless microphone. I'm gonna throw that in there too. Um. We have a 9 volt battery. What I'm going to do with that is I have a pouch for a mini disc uh, recorder or player or whatever. I'm going to grab that and we're going to uh, <laughs> we're going to put that in it. So I shall be right back. Okay, so I got this pouch which says mini disc on it. So what I'm going to do Instead of putting a mini disc player in it, I'm going to take this 9 volt and I'm going to put it in here. Now, you guys might be thinking, why should I put a 9 volt battery in here? Well, this is going to protect it from anything else that happens with it. So, we have the 9 volt. Which is going to sit right in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this mixer in here because this is going to be back up. And uh, I'm actually going to put that mixer in here as well because that way everything is all perfect. So anyways, I'm going to stop this video and I will pick it up where I left off. So anyways, see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm putting more I'm putting more cables in here. Just getting her ready for the gig Saturday so you know everything is packed and I don't have to worry greatly Let's about see if I can get more blinking lights working. <laughs> like that. So I don't have to worry about uh for getting cables okay so what do we got so far we got the extra spare mixer for backup in case something doesn't extra work spare in case something doesn't work on the uh, powered speaker you know how that goes if something doesn't work right we got a we got an extra backup mixer, or if the main mixer goes, if the main mixer goes down during the gig, I have the spare backup 
a five channel mixer for that purpose as well. So always, so always pack an extra mixer. You do, uh, no, the Radio Shack one stays here. So we got the, we, we got the, uh, just standard, uh, six channel. Oh, shut up. We got the six channel board, which is still being used at this point in time right now, which is this guy right over here. This will be packed up, uh, early Saturday morning. So I got to, uh, I'm making a video, yes. And you guys are on it already. <laughs> so we got, uh, we got half of this mixer tore apart already, cable-wise. So we'll tear it apart even more later on tonight. So I don't think we'll be able <laughs> to do a show if anyone ever asks for one. So... This mixer is going. Son of a bitch! <laughs> if I if I do one, it's gonna be half-assed. So. I don't have a whole lot hooked up right now, and and I'm kind of tearing stuff down as I go. So. This six channel mixer's going. I'm not going to use all the inputs for it except for the two mic channels and uh, maybe one channel for. Okay, who wants to run over the bomb pack? Who wants to run over the bomb pack? <laughs> all right, <Yeah>. anyways. <laughs> right channel won't work. Uh, I'll run it over! Oh boy, get these guys on Skype. They pretty much derail my videos every time. Oh god. So, I'm slowly tearing this mixer down. I'm slowly tearing this mixer down. Um, this is going to be the mixer that's going to be used for the reception. And the reason why I have a backup mixer, in case something goes wrong with this one, I have a backup etc. Always have a backup when you're DJing. You don't want to be going to a gig and something goes out and you realize you're fucked. <laughs> you, re you realize you're fucked. Something goes out. Let's just say a powered speaker or anything like that. You need a backup plan uh, most DJs do this. They have a backup plan. They can switch out their components. I mean, there's going to be a slight dead silence, but as far as uh, things go, always have a backup plan. Um, take whatever you need, and also take extra if you feel the need to take extra as well. Take extra. Because you don't want to be at a gig with broken shit so if someone spills if someone spills a beer on your board and you know and they and the person doesn't have insurance like i don't have insurance i'm fucked so always take an extra board always take extra mixers because you never know what's going to happen now if i brought my radio shack mixer I wouldn't even care about that board because if it got spilt with beer, I wouldn't even care. But these boards I do care about because, you know, I spent quite a bit of money for these mixing boards. I mean, I bought them used, but still I spent quite a bit of money for these mixing boards. So, anyways, the IDJ3, I don't give a shit if it gets beer spilt on it. You know, it can be replaced. No big deal. It's already got a broken pitch control anyway, so. Um, but as far as things go, things are being torn down slowly but surely. At least I got time to do all this and stuff, so I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing into it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an even 
kind of an even flow for things here. So we got the wireless mic packed already. The wired mic will be packed here pretty soon. Um, yes, we're using... And we're using both mics. We're using the uh, wireless mic for toasts and the wedding ceremony. We're using the wired mic, which is my DJ mic. The DJ's got to have his own mic. And the wireless mic is used for ceremonies and toasts, etc. And getting people out on the dance floor and shaking their groove thing and shit like that. So... <laughs> So it's so it's so it's nice having a wireless mic whenever you need it. Uh, more than likely, I'll just use the corded mic. But every once in a while, if I want to get everybody up uh, out and dancing, especially if I get up out there on the dance floor, I'm gonna use the wireless mic most of the time, anyways. So I'm gonna be taking. I'm going to be taking one of my power strips. Um, I might not take the big heavy duty one. I might take just a small strip. So another thing, power strips. I'm probably going to end up taking one power strip. And that will be good for the ceremony and the gig. I guess I'll be taking the other strip. But this computer, this... Uh, Streaming computer, once it loses power, it won't be getting its time back. So I have to go into the BIOS when I set it back up again and change the time and date and set the audio back to enable. Because once it de defaults back, things for this computer won't go well because the uh, button cell battery doesn't hold charge for very long and especially for even a few hours it can't hold the charge for very long so um, keep in mind that when I plug this computer back in uh, there's gonna be wrong time and date and the audio will say auto which kind of kills the audio by freaking default which uh, leaves the audio completely muted so I have to go back into settings and change that as well. Just just a heads up when when taking two power taps, uh, this desktop computer is going to be losing all of its power. So it's, it's going to be one thing that I have to deal with when I connect both power taps back up. So um, as far as that goes, I'm going to use one power tap for the ceremony and the other power tap for the reception. So I have two total power taps that I'm going to be taking. So keep in mind, DJs, you got to take two power taps: one for ceremony, one for uh, one for the reception. Because if you have a powered speaker that has to be plugged in, and your power is on the on the other side of wherever. Um, even if you have an extension cord, you could plug straight into, uh, plug that power tap straight into that extension cord. So it's not a big deal, but just keep in mind, um, it's better to take two power taps than not have none at all. Um, I can't stress that enough. So when I pack things up, I want to make sure I have two power taps. Uh, maybe an extension cord and yes for the for the uh, reception yes you got to have an extension cord as well because where you're actually set you got to have all that as well so that's kind of that um, there's really not much here to video other than you know just showing you guys which you can do to prepare for a DJ gig. So, anyways, that is kind of it for this video. Next, we're going to compare powered and unpowered speakers. And I think you think DJ Kevin did something on that. But uh, I'm going to do one better with that. 
and kind of do a separate video with that. So, anyways, peace out and practice and enjoy. See you in the next video.